piece was recovered in Tanzania some two and a half years after the plane disappeared. So it's all actually quite overwhelming to have this piece present here with us. We hope that you will understand the physical difficulties in searching for the plane, the emotional hardships that we endure, but also the vital importance of finding the plane for the future of aviation safety. It's very hard to say that we can just forget about it now. Let's get on with our lives because there's a lot more around in this world for us to go and see. I find it very hard to do that. It gets a little easier over time, but as the date nears to the anniversary, it gets difficult again. As we get older, the question still lingers, you know, and we are still looking for answers and I don't think we will stop looking for answers no matter how old we get, you know, so we are still hoping. I mean, we've been hoping and praying for the past five years and I think we're going to continue doing that. No matter which government comes into power, it doesn't really matter. I just hope that um, they as people understand us, you know, as people who have lost our family members on board. We stand in solidarity with all of you and we hope that there will be credible leads coming forward and I promise that the government of Malaysia will do our almost best to try to give you the answer that you deserve. Thank you.